it's time for the week's top 30. Hey, I'm Matt Thomas from Parmalee, and these are a few. We'll play that song and more as I count down the hits with Lon Helton of Country Air Check. Right now, here's Lon with this week's hottest song. Well, thanks. Darius Rucker and the week's hottest song, Beers and Sunshine. But is Darius going to be cracking one open to celebrate his 10th number one? We're going to find out a little bit later on Country Countdown USA. Each week, I'm joined by a top country star who helps me count down the hits along this week in the studio, uh, separated by a table of about eight feet, I guess. <laughs> Matt Thomas, who's the lead singer of the band Parmalee. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, your first time here, welcome. We'll try to be uh, try to be easy as we get along. Oh, I'm a fan <laughs> of the show, man. I'm excited to be here. That's very kind. Thanks. Uh, always fun to do with uh, getting the people who make the music sitting in that very chair and just kind of chatting our way through and we'll talk about a bunch of your friends here and of course you guys have had a number of hits carolina yeah close your eyes and now just the way in the top five that that has to be a a, a great feeling after a few years away from the it, it is the top man. five it's been a it's been a, a wonderful journey to see the song connect and kind of get us through the pandemic uh with a little ray of light and <laughs> some positivity you know yeah, and we'll talk too just about about that creativity during this kind of downtime away from touring, and find out a lot about Parmley, which is kind of a, a family affair. Absolutely, <laughs> and it started as a family affair, really, right? I mean, you guys being in your your dad's band. Yeah, we did. We grew up playing in my dad's band. My brother Scott, who's our drummer, and uh, Barry is our first cousin. We all started and uh, eventually played in my dad's band with him growing up. So that was a really good time. It was it was a cool experience. So. It definitely plays into our mentality yeah. and you know where we came from. Well, you guys have had an amazing journey in the music business in a, in a relatively short time, and we'll talk a lot about that, get Parmley's history as we get along with Matt Thomas, the lead singer from the band. Chris Young and Kane Brown leading off the week's top 30 with Famous Friends. My co-host this week is Parmley's Matt Thomas. Um, your current hit is just the way, way ahead in the top five, but as we sat down, you were telling me something I did not know. Uh, since we were just talking about Kane Brown. Yeah, uh, a lot of people don't know this. I'm not sure Kane knows it if it even got to him, but uh, he was the only person I actually pitched that song to, or his team, because I thought it might be something good for him when we were not sure if it was going to be our song or not. And uh, luckily, they, they just said, I don't know if this is something he would do, and things just happened the way they did, so I'm thankful that, that he didn't scoop it up. <laughs> well, I'm anxious to have him next time he's in here, is to ask him if he was aware of that or not. So, you, you're one of, the, one of the writers on this song, but why did you think, why did you send it to Kane? Why did you think that this would be a good song for him? We made several different versions, and we didn't have the right one yet. We didn't have the collab with Blanco, and we didn't have the version that you hear. There was these different versions that, and at that point in time, I'm being a songwriter, you know, it's like, hey man, if it's not going to be for us, then I'll just try and see if maybe somebody else wants to cut it. And uh, now I'm just so thankful that, that we got it and kept it and, and then did this version, produce this version that we have now. And then how did Blanco get to be part of this? We've been, actually Blanco and I have been friends for a couple years, even before the Get Up came mm -hmm. out. I met him and uh, that was our producer David Fanning's idea. He's like, why don't you get Blanco on it? And I said, cool. I, and I texted it to him. <laughs> And I think the next day we drove down to Atlanta, and um, that was the first time Blanco had ever really sang it with me. Uh, it was a version you hear on the radio now, so uh, it's really cool. Uh, I think just these ideas that you happen to be in the right place at the right time, and these ideas flow, and you catch yeah. them, and it's just sometimes it creates magic. All right, well, here it is. It's the uh, current top five hit from our co-host Matt Thomas and his band Parmalee, along with Blanco Brown, Just the Way. That's Carly Pierce at number 28 with Next Girl. My co-host this week is Matt Thomas. He's with the band Parmalee, and uh, I saw you recently did this guitar pull down in Tampa during Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, man. What was that about? It was fun. It was uh, uh, The Hard Rock had uh, this private event, and it, w it was fun to go down and play. And uh, I mean, Florida's been wide open pretty much. We've done s several shows down have there. Have you really? And continue, and, w and we have some, some more coming up. So um, I'm thankful that we get to go play and, uh, you know, s at least connect with the fans as in some ways down there. You know, also um, down there with you guys was Matt Stell yeah. and Jimmy Allen. Uh, did you get a chance to chat with those guys? Now, Jimmy's on your label group. Yeah, he is. So. Yeah, we hung out, and um, 
that's the first time I got to really hang with Matt Stale and Jimmy. He's a card man. He's he's a good friend. He's fun. <laughs> you know, he could be a stand-up comedian. I think so, man. He's a, he's a character. He really is. Yeah. Did you get a chance to chat much with with Matt Stell? I did. Yeah. You know, I'm a big fan of both those the songs he put out. I pray for you. I heard that. I was like, man, that's an amazing song. I just called out when I was like, yep, that's gonna go right on up and in the. Uh, Anywhere but, uh, what is it, Gone? Every, everywhere but on. Everywhere but on, yeah. I mean, that's like when I, I hear it on the radio, I'm like, you turn it up, and it sounds good, man, so. That's Matt Stell, number one from last year, Everywhere But On. Matt Thomas from the band Parmley is my co-host this week. Up next is a is a guy you know, because, again, he's part of your label group. I assume you know Jason Aldean, but how yeah, well do you know him? Yeah, I know Jason. We were, when we first got here, our, our uh, production team was, was Jason's band. Uh, his current band is those guys. They're the ones that got us, uh, introduced us to Broken Bow and uh, helped us get the right, deal. They right. produced our first album, so uh, they got, they we were able to go back and meet Jason early on, and, and Jason's a cool dude, man. He's a easy going and just uh, presents himself as a as a big country star, no matter where he's at, man. He's just uh, mm-hmm. it's great. Well, you guys were out with Jason pretty early on, so what's what's he like as a boss? <laughs> <laughs> he's a man, I tell you that. Yeah. You know? um, he, like I said, he's cool demeanor. He's he's, he's a he's a country star, you know. And, and like when he walks in the room, you know, it's Jason coming in, and he's just. But he's also. You know, cut from the same cloth that we are. So he, you know, he's just just a friend. You know? Blake Shelton again at number twenty six with minimum wage. Matt Thomas, lead singer, guitar player for the band Parmley, is here. And, and before we leave, Blake, you guys did a show with him last summer. Did you get a much chance to interact with him? I've hung out with Blake a couple times. Have you? I will say he he's a trip, man. <laughs> That's an understatement. I know. We played Opry for the first time, and both our grandmothers were uh, able to come to the show. And uh, they were more interested in getting a picture with Blake than they were about seeing us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can understand that. Picture. He's a I could too, he's a yeah. big star. Yeah, he he he's great for that part though. I think he's just likable dude and just honest and and cool and funny. Uh, and and you know he's got Gwen now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did your grandmother's get a photo with him? Yeah. Oh, did of they course. Get a chance to Backstage. Chat? Yeah. 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 That was. I mean, we were all excited too. Cause that's the first time we met him. And, but I, I want to thank him for taking time to do that. It was it made our night. Yeah. The really awesome guy we're talking about is Blake Shelt. That's Miranda Lambert up a couple to number twenty three with settling down. Parmalee's lead singer Matt Thomas, along as our co-host this week. It is your first time here, as we mentioned at the top of the show. So why don't you take us back? We referred to it at the top of the show that you guys got into the band with your dad, right? Yes. And like what year was that? How old were you guys? We were like fourteen or fifteen, maybe. Seriously? Yeah. Now, what was your musical, I guess, um, inclinations up to that age? Were, were yeah. you singing? And he was always playing and singing, but I think we got the music bug when we were young, and it was a lot of like uh, the stuff he was listening to. Uh, he was doing Travis Tritt and Bob Seger and uh, the Allman Brothers and things like that. So we heard that. Oh wow! Come from him and. We always wanted to play what Dad was playing because it was just, you know, sounded cool. Now, you're the lead singer of Parmalee, and the question is, when you were in your dad's band, did he let you sing? No, because I couldn't. <laughs> I tried to sing. I just, for some reason, I can't pick up harmony, which is, it, it's, it's, it's terrible. Because, but Josh and Barry always do my harmony, so they're they're great with it. And I never really had to learn it. I could, I never could get it. And I sang a little <laughs> harmony in my dad's band. What I tried to do was, you know, back him up. He was an amazing singer. I mean, he sounded like a mixture of Greg Allman, Bob Seger, and, and Travis Trick. Kind of like. Wow, so really? He was that, you know, guy. And he was always in key and uh, entertainer. Just a great. Really cool voice. So he didn't let you step out front and sing a I, I did. sing lead on, did you? I did, but I, there's there's some live tapes out there, and after hearing him sing and, and me trying to sing after it was it was kind of tough. I really didn't <laughs> find my voice until later on and in, in getting here and learning the proper way to sing, where I sound good at, the keys that I'm most comfortable with, and it took took me quite a bit to figure that out. But I think we we got it honed in now. Well, we're gonna kind of put the. Parmalee story on hold right there, and we'll, we'll get back to it in a minute, along with uh, lead singer Matt Thomas. Right now, back to the co- Sam Hunt again at number 21. Break it up was easy in the 90s. My co-host this week is Parmalee's lead singer Matt Thomas, and uh, and I know you wanted to say something about this next guy in the countdown, Tim McGraw. A funny story, I was driving here yesterday in the town, and um, Country Boys Getting Down on the Farm came on, Tim McGraw. 
And I just, I, I lit up and I was like, that's the first song that, that really caught me as a listener and said, hey, they're writing songs about me because we did party on the farm all the time and we did have to shut the gate and we did have to we did ride through this man's beans one time and got in trouble and let you know all those those stories that were being told was, was just awesome which was another thing that kind of directed me this way and it's like did maybe there there is a spot yeah, for us out here yeah. somehow some way you know yeah and i'd imagine tim mcgraw's played a, a large part in a lot of people's musical careers but uh up next to the countdown is tim tim mcgraw and tyler hubbard have a couple to number 20 with undivided Invited. My co-host this week is Matt Thomas. He is the lead singer of the band Parmalee. And uh, you were saying a little bit ago that one of Tim's songs sort of inspired you uh, to pursue country music or, or at least made you think there's a, a place for, for your sound. What other songs have contributed to that that sound of Parmalee? I, I'll never forget. There there was a, a girlfriend of ours that, um, that she was like... She's country was that was her song. She's like, when I come in the room, that's turn it on because that's the jam. And and I was like, that's pretty awesome. Like it's it's a cool rocking song, but mm -hmm. it still is. Chanel Dean and a number one from 2008. She's country. Parmalee's lead singer Matt Thomas, along as my co-host this week. Of course, their current top five is just the way. And, and Matt is uh, we were kind of getting the band story. I think we got you uh, in North Carolina playing with your dad, and then you guys at some point went on your own because he he retired. Was he it? he did kind of retire. I think his wife mentioned that he should. And uh, <laughs> it, 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 well, it, it you was know, uh, it's a lot because you're playing every Friday and Saturday night. At yeah, at least. Yeah, he he. We didn't play a whole lot back then with him but we also had we wanted to write our own stuff and we wanted to play for our peers you know at that time it was his name and it was mm -hmm. the older crowd for us and we just wanted to play for we wanted to hit the college circuit and we wanted to start writing our own stuff and take it seriously so is that when you became Parmalee yes and yeah. just chose that name because it was the hometown or what were the other choices well there were several other choices uh, somebody mentioned we should name it after the town because we spent so much time there and uh, we were like okay cool nobody's ever going to be able to to pronounce it if you spell it like the actual town is uh, spelled it's spelled p-a-r-m-e-l-e -E, but pronounced parmalee which i have no idea how that worked <laughs> out but so we were like okay nobody's got that right, <laughs> nobody's got right. that name and, and i will say it's taken a bit for people to you know pronounce it right it's it's always been parmalee and people were like parmalee uh, they were just asking so I've been us messing up. it up the whole show. No, you've been doing great. Me. You're great. <laughs> Parmalee. <laughs> Parmalee, yeah. Jordan Davis once again at number 18 with Almost Maybes. Matt Thomas, lead singer from Parmalee, along as my co-host this week. Uh, up next is the current hit from Jake Owen, and, and I know you guys are, are pretty good friends. But a few years ago, uh, you were out on tour with Jake, and at the time when Jake was in here, he talked about you guys. I love these guys. I The first time I ever heard them was maybe a couple years ago, I guess it was. I was... I was in my truck and they uh, they came on and I thought it was really cool that um, they were playing their song at the time. It was called Must Have Had a Good Time. And uh, I thought, wow, uh, the lead singer, Matt, has got such a great voice and they're some of the nicest, most humble guys you'll ever meet. And they really, every day they come up to me. It's kind of funny thinking about being that guy on a tour a while ago. Mm. I, I feel for them when they come up to me and they're like, thank you, man. Thank you so much for having <laughs> us on this tour. They told me, they said, this is the first tour that we've ever been on. Yeah, man. Mm. We had a blast on that tour, too. <laughs> <laughs> man, I get the sense fun. you guys have a pretty good time uh, most of the time, to tell you the <laughs> truth. Yeah, that's why we hit it off as soon as we met. It was We, we were opening for him. We saw him out there on the stage in his bare feet. Yeah. We yeah. didn't know him. And um, we, he, he introduced himself, and he's like, he knew the song, and we realized we were like kind of like the same kind of people. We liked the same things, and we just hit it off, and... Jake lives out by us, so we hang out quite a bit now, and it's really cool. And he is, man. He's just great at supporting other artists, and I'm so glad this song's moving up because I remember hearing it and, and just listening to the whole song, and I was like, man, this is this is great. So he continues to put out some great songs, and maybe we'll get back out on the road with him here soon. And, yeah, I'm sure that's, a, again, a pretty good pretty good time with you guys. Talking about Jake Owen. Still and Scott up one to number 15 with Nobody. Parmalee's Matt Thomas and here's my co-host this week and you wanted to chat about uh, Dylan a little bit. Yeah, uh, 
one of uh, one of my good friends is producer and writer on Nobody, but I just happened to run into him the other day. We were all down here, and it's, it's just always cool when you hadn't seen somebody, uh, a friend of yours, and an artist, especially. I hadn't seen him since uh, last year, COVID hit, and uh, it's just exciting. You're down here. Rec- we're in the studio recording new stuff. He's in the studio recording new stuff. It's just, uh, you know, and you mm-hmm. run into somebody at the tin roof up there in the afternoon getting a cold one. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, did your... Did your friend who was a co-writer on, on, on that song, did he uh, play it for you early on or get your thoughts? Or did you hear it before you heard Dylan doing it? I didn't, but w- that happens quite a bit. I mean, we've had yeah. so many of those sessions here lately of just playing. You get in the round and you, you get to Bluetooth and then you go around and everybody plays you the, the new stuff they right. have. That's, that's right. the best part about this town. Man. Rascal Flats at number 14, How They Remember You. My co-host is Matt Thomas. He's the lead singer, plays guitar with the band Parmalee. Let's see, last we had your story, I'm assuming this was once you get out of high school, you said we have to leave North Carolina and take me through that. Well, we stayed in North Carolina, actually. We just did you? we just realized we were going to have to, we just did it out of there. We, we you know, put everything down on on the band and we're like, we got we to gotta make it happen. So we just stumbled around North Carolina and we tour you know, up right. in Virginia and go down to South Carolina. Well, I was going to ask, because Nashville wasn't your first stop, if you will. You didn't just pack up and say, we're going to Nashville and we're going to do this and commit to it and whatever. You you did a little New York. You, you yeah. had a little L.A. in there. Yeah, we didn't move to Nashville until we got our record deal, actually. But we were just trying to figure out what our sound was, what we were doing. We went to New York to work with a, a producer. And then we were out in L.A. for a minute trying to work with this other producer. We met some managers that came out there, and they were like, you need to be in Nashville. I know the guy that mixes Kenny Chesney's records. We were like, okay, let's go borrow some more money and go work with him, and maybe something will come out of that. <laughs> and uh, we just kept stumbling along, and we had Carolina halfway written. Hmm. So we came back and wrote and recorded Carolina. And um, a couple other songs, when I heard it in my kitchen, I immediately got everybody. I just rushed to the guys. I was like, "Come here and listen to this. This is this is it. This is what we've been trying to find. This is mm. this is us, you know." And um, so that was like the first time you said, "That's the sound." That's the sound. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. We're gonna pick this story up and figure out how you got to Nashville and a record <laughs> deal. Paired at number twelve with the Good Ones, Matt Thomas, lead singer from the band Parmalee, and here is my co-host this week. Up next uh, is a guy I think we got to talk about. He's uh in your label group, Dustin Lynch. Yeah, man. Um, Dustin's awesome, man. Uh, I remember meeting him right when we got here. Uh, he was just launching, and um, we were we had just signed with the label, so we were just kind of seeing everything happen around it. Uh, and uh, man, he's just had some some really huge songs, and it's really cool. Uh, um, one of my good friends is uh, also a writer on on Mama's House, and we were kind of moving up together, and it was just a uh, it's just real cool when you see your your friend have a single with an artist that you know and mm-hmm. and, and you love the song, so um, that, that's all. Brett Young once again at number 10 with Lady. Matt Thomas is the lead singer of the band Parmalee. He's in here as my co-host this week and uh, through the show we've been getting your story. And we got you to Nashville uh, and you mentioned uh, the song Carolina and that was really the door opener here. 100%, yeah. We actually had it, so we... We wrote it in 2007, and a uh, country artist, Benton Blunt, had put it out. They had started a label, and he was going to go to country radio with it in 2010. And we had, we had put an EP out. The song was on it. It had done great for us regionally, but everybody was kicking tires because they couldn't figure out where to put us, you know? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know, that entered, entered the Jason and uh, Eric kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But we couldn't get a deal with it. We couldn't do anything so this artist was going to put it out and they were going to go to country radio with it and and unfortunately the label didn't pull through with it and we got the song back uh, we met our producer david fanning he came and wrote with us and we wrote must have had a good time in the rv in the parking lot <laughs> and um that led to him introducing us to jason's band who they had the production team together mm-hmm. and we went and played for those guys and we had carolina and we so we had played those two songs must have had a good time in Carolina for them and maybe one more and they uh, called us on the way out of town they were like hey we have this production deal set up with the label we want to come record these two songs with you guys can you come back in July and we'll, we're going to record them for you and then we'll start shopping you around town to get you a, a deal so we did we came back in July 
uh, of that year. And Number seven with Starting Over. Matt Thomas, lead singer of Parmalee, along as my co-host this week. A few years ago, you and the guys were out on the road with Brad Paisley. And uh, Brad was in here, I think, right before that tour started, and, and he was kind of talking about that. It's different, actually, support, too. It's uh, Swan Brothers and Parmalee are out. So I'm going to have fun having two bands out like that. That's going to be a fun it's to have. It's going to be a crowded uh, backstage. It is. I also want to get them out there during mine. I think it would be fun to do a little segment when they're with me on something. Do you guys end up getting out on Every stage? Every night. Yeah? Every single night. And what, I don't recall it. I'm sure I saw you guys. What did you do? We would open up his show, but we would do it like acoustic style. And he would come out there with us. Nobody It was unassuming because all the lights are on. And we just walk out there, and there's one microphone, and we're playing. Yeah. And then he comes out there with us, and then the lights go down, and, and he kicks the show off. And so we played every, every, oh, that's great. opened every show with him, and we would do meet and greets after his show. It, it was a great time, and they took great care of us. It was, the fans on those shows were amazing. I mean, it, it was, it was something to see. The good old days, huh? Good old days, yeah. So, um, he's pretty known for his practical jokes and a few other things. Do, you do anything to you guys in particular? Yeah, he'd always have these pictures of us up there, like our faces on, like, mm -hmm. I think he did the Baywatch girls' bodies, and he had our faces <laughs> on. We did have, I will say, we did have one good one with him, but he never, it never made its way to the, uh, <laughs> to the big screen up there. I don't think they would, they would put it up. And what was that? It was him, his belly was like a keg, and his head was, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what it was but they're probably like no nah, we're not, not going well, that's because that was probably his video guy that's, right yeah exactly yeah, they're like we're not going to throw him <laughs> <on the floor." laughs> that's fun. Brian up one to number four with down to one this week's countdown co-host is Matt Thomas the lead singer from the band Parmalee uh, we now come to your song in the countdown at number three it's called uh, Just The Way of course uh, with some help from Blanco Brown it must be it must be really frustrating for you to, to have this big hit going on right now, but you can't go out and play it for anybody. I know. It's got to be just the most frustrating oh, thing. It's so frustrating. I mean, the, one of the biggest excitements to have a hit song is to get out to the shows and then see what's happening on the streets, have people sing it back to yeah, you. And I feel yeah. so bad for everybody who's having, especially ones that are having their very first hit during this time and are not able to to, to, to bottle up that excitement mm -hmm, that you get. Mm -hmm. And I and I, we were in Florida the other night, the other night, and I got to see some of it. So I'm very fortunate, man. And it was different. It's definitely different. When this song's in the top five, you can tell it. That had to feel good, though, to get on stage and, and, no, man, and come on, see this and watch the audience. Oh, yeah, 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 it's great, man. It's a it's a different look. Like they look at you different because you're they're actually seeing you sing that hit song. Yeah, which is, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. It's interesting to see. Well, speaking about joy to people, this is the perfect song, I think, for the pandemic. I mean, it's just because it, it is a, such a positive song, and it's such a great groove to it. But it really kind of takes on that new meaning at this time. I think. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of that through like TikTok and people making their own videos and duetting with us and things like that. It's been, yeah, just to have a, a, a ray of light in this whole thing is it's been amazing not only for us and our fans. It's just seeing people connect with it and mm -hmm. seeing it what it means to them and maybe it brightens their day. It, that's been just amazing to see behind this song. So we can't you know thank everybody enough and it's just been the coolest the coolest thing to see, especially sitting at home and not being able to go play shows or doing anything right man just what a what a saving grace this song's been for us over the past year you know well here it is number three this week parmalee along with blanca brown just luke combs at number two with better together my co-host this week is parmalee's matt thomas uh luke of course is another carolinian we talked about eric church uh, earlier north carolinian i should probably uh make sure to say you know obviously you guys played in a lot of clubs out there, mm -hmm. maybe a little before Luke. I don't know. Did yeah. you guys cross paths at all? Did you know him or of him? I didn't know of him. He was. We had already been out here when he was doing his thing. Uh, interesting story, though. We did a uh, we did a homecoming show back in Greenville, North Carolina. I think it was might have been 2017, 18, maybe. And uh, we actually had Kane Brown and Luke Combs open up for us. Is that right? For a pretty good deal, too, on both of them. I guarantee you that. It was, <laughs> and uh, it was cool because both of those guys, somebody said, you heard about this guy, Luke, he's doing really good in North Carolina. But he brought people in, man. It was like, this is cool. This is like 
real deal. There's mm. there's the people coming to the show to see this guy play. And Kane was the same way. Kane opened up and like it was just, it's really cool to see that stuff how it happened, you know, organically how they yeah, did yeah. it and they came from right. just the real deal, you know. And anyway, we're talking about Luke Combs who was there at number 2 with Better Together as Matt Thomas of Parmalee. Darius Rucker and his 10th number 1 Beers and Sunshine. And there they are. The top 30 country hits in the USA is compiled by Country Air Check. We've been counting them down with uh, Parmalee's lead singer, guitar player Matt Thomas. And I know, like everybody, you just can't wait to get back out there. But what plans do you have? Well, I just uh, bought some more uh, gear for the live show, so <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, I'm excited. We're going to try to work out every show we can possibly work out. I know sometimes they'll fall through, but we're going to continue to book and, and the ones that work, work, and uh, we're going we're gonna to go do it. People are ready. I'm, we're all ready, right? <laughs> I'm ready, man. Current hit is just the way with Blanco Brown, of course. Best luck with that. And, Matt, it's been great having you in here, getting the family story, and, uh, and best luck with this single. Thank you so much, Lon.